knowing that we wanted to tell a story about Santa Monica and Highland, I had never seen it on, in film and TV, and I don't know why. I just knew that by passing this location, there, there were many stories to be told here. Matt, um, hey, no, no, no. <laughs> I had two dollars. You know what I spent that on? What? The bus and a donut. It's been four years and a lot has changed. We were shooting at a time where this area was becoming gentrified. Now it's pretty much gentrified altogether. The whole film really builds up to this climactic confrontation that takes place with our entire ensemble cast at what was once donut time and now is actually owned by Danny Trejo and he's made it into Trejo's coffee and donuts. We always knew that Donut Time had to be a part of it. It's iconic. It was the hub that many of these girls used at night for shelter. We didn't want to fake this at a donut shop on the other side of town. I actually told my producers, if we don't get Donut Time, I'm not interested in making the film. I'm not doing that. I'm out of here, because you know, I, I told you. I already told you. A lot has changed. There used to be three tables and then a side door over here. That's where we had Razmik's wife enter with the child. We shot over the course of three nights, but only two nights inside, and they started to close at midnight. So we could only really shoot seven to midnight. So we had five hours one night, five hours the second night, and it was a running gun marathon. What are you plotting? It was uh, always tight, and as you can tell, it's still tight. It's a very small space. You know, some people think we had a pimped out or a tricked out iPhone. That's not the case. We had an adapter that was literally the size of a matchbook that fit over the lens with a little stabilizer, and that was, that was it. I was able to move very easily around and get different angles. There were three iPhones. You can see from the production of this movie, we're not making a ton of money. So I had to sell off one of the iPhones to pay rent, okay? But I held on to two of them, and one of them is being uh, donated to the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures, and it's an incredible honor to have been asked, and so we're very, very proud, very happy.